I'm doing 3D printing by this robotic arm. It's driven by six axes. Compared with a conventional 3D printer, it can have more flexibility. You want print like this, like this shape, like, like this, this movement. Because for the fiber reinforced 3D printed object, the fiber geometry, the fiber path is quite important. But for conventional 3D printer, it only can do planar printing. So there are weakness between layers. So that's why I developed those hardwares and also printing logic based on this robotic arm. The conventional printing logic is print everything horizontally. All the layers is planar. But for this one, the layers is waved. Because the robotic arm has six axes, it can do it can do M planar layer printing. This is the key layers. So you can see at the beginning, the layer is just the planar, just like the conventional 3D printing logic. It's flat, isn't it? Yeah, it's so. flat, yes. But it's gradually changing to curved, you see? The so curl is going it's deeper strong. and deeper. They're getting taller and taller and deeper and deeper, okay. Yes. So this can achieve two things. One, it will much stronger than that in that direction. And second, it can match the geometry objects required. So because uh, the out surface is flat. This controller is trying to bridge robotic arm and the factor. The main controlling device in this box is Arduino. And there are three main functions based on it. One is receiving the signal from the robotic controller. The second is controlling the temperature or the printing height. There are heaters, two heaters in this printing height. It keeps heating. And one temperature sensor, which is connected to the Arduino. So by that, it can make sure the printing height can keep specific temperature. And for the another, the third function is for the motor controlling. This motor speed can determine the extruding velocity. And this height is only for testing the two parts I just generated. And this is the official 3D printing height. It has three different resolution heights. The resolution for this one is only 0.4 millimeters, which is for very thin extruding. This is 0.6, is for carbon fiber reinforced polymer. And this is thicker, maybe also for same material or different material with different resolutions. So three heights can bring more flexibility during the printing. It can switch different heights during the printing process. We can achieve very accurate, locate the specific materials, maybe especially for carbon fibers. So this is the filament. This extruder can push this filament until the hot end. It will melt and extrude, extrude out. For this one, there will be three filaments for each of them, so we can switch it during the printing. When we print something, in some part, we want to make a reinforce, make it much stronger, because maybe this part is a connection with other devices. So that's uh, the part we need more carbon fiber. And the carbon fiber lo uh, location is also determined by the mechanical property analysis. We do that by software and to know which part is the weak part and we want more carbon fibers. And for the other part, maybe we can use normal material. For example, peak. For the carbon fiber reinforced peak filament, that is quite strong, but it's quite expensive. And for other part, we only use peak. This is PRA, very normal material for the test. I'm testing with single height and with very common material. And later I will switch to peak and carbon fiber. So this material is also different from here. So this is aluminum. It's only for the normal materials for PLA or ABS. But this one is brazen. It can, it can do the peak, peak printing test, mm -hmm. 
but maybe for the long long time using, it's not a good choice. Later, I will switch to other material. Okay. Yeah, specifically for for peak and uh, carbon fiber. This is a two part generation because this all those are curves. I divide all the curves into points. Each point, I can set one comment, location for comment for the robot arm. So it will just follow point by point, and then to achieve following this curve. Can we see you do some printing? Now? Start printing, right? Yeah, is that okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I start extruding. How long have you been working on this? For this project? Mm -hmm. uh, three years. So right now, the extruder is printing following the logic I designed. You see, the head is not always pointing to the ground just because it's following the surface curvature. This movement can make sure the nozzle always vertical with the printed surface. So that can make sure the connection much stronger. With the conventional 3D printer, it can, even if it's always um, pointing to the ground, it can achieve this geometry, but connection won't be very firm. So that's the reason I'm using 6 axis robot car. If the robot is actually here, it would probably so say that I might be here, I might be here, or I might trick. be here. So this and was created by design. Van Jacobson, one of the great creators of the internet. He's one of the men who made the internet work and helped in the